friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 1st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to another spin around our sun. Happy New Year, everyone. Having a look here right away at our sun for the last 48 hours of imagery. 304 angstroms, a pretty bright, active region coming in northwest. No major solar flares to talk about, but we do have a CME heading our way. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. We have two sunspots that are incoming and another one cresting in the last few images. Watching on the left hand side there. Looking at outgoing. This is the last 48 hours of events. As we did have a couple CMEs thwarted in an outgoing position. Other than that, our sun's been pretty quiet the last 48 hours. First 24 hours into 2023. Quick look at multi spectrum. Showing active outgoing region. And as well some plasma activity in the southern hemisphere. Creating a little plasma tornado there in the last few frames. 193 angstroms here and we can see the darkened blackened regions which are coronal holes. So we have an earth facing coronal hole right now. Right here. Other than that diminished coronal hole is now departing. Another one developing there ahead of the southern region cresting. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range after producing two strong C-class solar flares overnight. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated here with a KP 3.5. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 495 kilometers per second. Coming down from about 580 kilometers per second yesterday. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the latest CME I was talking about, Earth-facing CME. Looks like it's just going to miss Mercury, but heading to us into the 7th and 8th of January. Another one here, outgoing, shooting out towards Venus. Schumann Resonance for today is a power of 9 most of the power coming here in the last couple hours. Quick look at the telemetry. Schumann resonance, quality of 17, amplitude of 9, and a power of 5. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we've seen minor activity across the world, sitting at about 180 earthquakes across the USGS. But most notable here, 5.4 earthquake, Rio del California, 30 kilometer depth just inland from the coast as well we've seen quite a bit of activity here uh, 4.2 yesterday borrego springs as well as san simeon california 3.9 2.7 activity right up into san francisco bay area minor activity right up the san andreas fault having a look here at usgs showing 190 earthquakes in the 24-hour period show you exactly where this 5.4 earthquake occurred, Rio Del, at a 30 kilometer depth. Not a very populated region, but I'm sure there were people who felt it. Having a look across the US, not too much to talk about, no major changes here. Looking over Hawaii, largest through the region was Hawaiian Ocean View, 3.8 earthquake. 38 kilometer depth. Mauna Loa has completely ceased its eruption and Kilauea is still filling up its crater. Overlooking Alaska, largest through the region past 24 hours, 4.6. And as well here are Kuril Islands, 4.1 earthquake, pretty deep for the region, 390 kilometer depth. 4.5 there, south of Japan. Sizable activity here, Indonesia, 5.4s ringing off, and as well, Papua New Guinea, 5.4, and then we get to Fiji, 
where we've seen the largest through the region and as well deepest, 595 kilometer depth, 5.3 south of Fiji Islands, Kermadec Trench, seeing quite a bit of activity, deep activity, the past 48 hours. Going up into the Indian plate here, 4.7 reported in Pathen, Myanmar, as well as 4.1 there, northern India, and a 4.7 in Durham, Afghanistan, 181 kilometer depth. Notable earthquake here on the border with Iran, 4.1, 4.0 there, Aegean Sea, and as well, Spain, off the coast of Spain, right through the Gibraltar Strait, seeing a 4.2 earthquake. 4.7 earthquake there, Portugal, north of La Palma. Activity through Dominican Republic. And then southern Mexico and into Ecuador, 4.6 there today. And activity through Bolivia, 4.5, 206 kilometer depth, most recent, updated. Largest through the region being a 5.0, but Chile seeing quite a bit of activity. South Sandwich Islands, 5.2 earthquake reported today and a 4.7 yesterday, right out ahead of the Michael Volcano, as well as south of Africa reporting a 5.0 earthquake and a 4.6 there, East Somalia Plate. This is a quick browse at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. I want to welcome all of the new viewers to the channel. Thanks so much for hitting subscribe and as well hitting that like button getting this channel shared with friends and family from around the world. Much love, and I thank you all for your loyalty and viewership. All of 2022 has been a crazy year, and I'm happy that you are joining all of us on this amazing journey. Most epic changes coming soon to you. Watch out North American Plate up into Cascades, just saying. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, many flood alerts here around the world. 180 active hazards, Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Flood alert, flood alert, flood alert. It's hard to even find the active volcanoes here. The last three hours, Popocatito in Mexico, as well as Reventador in Ecuador. Tsunami watch was put out with 5.4 earthquake off the coast of California. Or on the coast. Pretty large system heading into the west coast has brought flash flow alerts all across California. Also got a polar outflow here coming from Russia and as well a deluge of moisture across northern territories of Australia. Pretty big system there off the coast of Spain as well. A lot of moisture being thrown northward towards the United Kingdom. Interesting low that's tracking across northern Africa as well. That scooted right down the west coast of Spain. It looks like it's going to head north along the east, o east coast of Spain through the long-range forecast. Speaking of which, let's have a look at windy.com. Showing moisture models here for the next few days. Extreme weather events still expected here coming out of Texas and the Gulf states. Vigorous low-pressure system that brought strong winds and heavy rains through california we've got multiple systems here raking up the west coast it's going to be a wet week all along the coast of bc and the united states quick look here at the models the next few days very warm temperatures ahead of this extreme weather event will be in progress for about two days all across the gulf states and up into northeastern parts of the united states Colder temperatures moving into Ontario. Could see some flurries there, but nothing major in accumulation. Interesting low-pressure winter storm coming out of Quebec in the long range. 
and as well another low developing here over Texas in the long range that is a Pacific low and a very wet week ahead for BC coast Washington Oregon and California overlooking South America daily evaporation rains but going to be heavy at times here Tuesday into Wednesday through Paraguay and Bolivia and up into Peru watch for some really strong storms especially through Peru as a low tracks through overlooking Africa not much to talk about daily evaporation rains South Africa you do have a low hanging and spinning around Angola this week so watch for heavy rains heavy rains through that region and then another low moving in from South Africa by next weekend going to bring some heavier rains towards Zambia overlooking Europe watching rain move in through Spain and up into Germany still a high pressure ridge east over Central Europe but watch for that to break down by Friday large system comes into the United Kingdom bringing strong winds heavy rains and as well heavy snowfall towards Norway and Sweden having a look here at the windy models showing this wind event that will be coming through Friday January 6th into the 7th very tightly whipped low pressure system here spanning across the North Atlantic something strange with our jet stream I wish you knew why it was happening but I kind of have an idea overlooking the Pacific Ocean large low developing here in the long range forecast look at that things off the coast of the United States and Canada massive low pressure system with multiple low pressure vortices in it carry on here with the weather forecast overlooking Australia as we still have that low pressure center spinning around Western Australia and then watch for that thing to move central and then southeast and eventually tracking all the way down to the East Coast parts of Sydney New South Wales watch for extreme weather event 8th into the 9th and as well as showing here tropical cyclone development for parts of northern New Zealand quick, quick look here looking at moisture systems across the Pacific Ocean as there is a lot of snow falling across the West Pacific right now polar outflow continues with a very strong polar vortex for 2022 and 2023 quick look here around the world at snowfall totals after 10 days looking at about two feet of snow through parts of central and northeastern United States coastal regions higher elevations looking at about 130 centimeters British Columbia up into Alaska ranging 140 to 219 centimeters as well a lot of snow falling across the Atlantic overlooking Europe as things are going to start to really cool down here over the next 10 days watching for some heavy snowfall totals across Norway Sweden and Eastern Europe I hope you enjoyed all this information here with the Daily Do. Much love, everybody, and I hope you stay safe, aware, and prepared out there. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.